Hi, I'm John, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about how giving can make you happier and how it's made me happier in my day to day life. I'm a member of an organization called Giving What We Can, whose members pledge to give 10% of their income to the most cost effective charities. You might be thinking to yourself, wow, 10%, that's a lot of money. Surely that's going to impact your life in some negative way. And I'm going to explain some reasons for why that's not the case. Reason number one we don't really know what makes us happy. Turns out there's a lot of really good psychology literature that shows we're really bad at predicting how things will affect our future happiness. Um, and this comes down to basically two main reasons. First, when we're thinking about, say, a loss of a little bit of money, we tend to focus on the things we're going to lose out on, say, an extra coffee here and there, or a trip to the theater, and we think, oh wow, I really like those things, it's going to be bad if I don't have them. And we focus on that negative feeling a lot. It has us, has us completely overvaluate how much of an impact this is going to have on us in the future. So when people look at studies where they project into the future how much of an impact a loss of, say, 10% of your income is going to have, they project something incredibly high, and once they, once they incur this loss, they find that the actual impact is incredibly low. Reason number two, money makes you happy in comparison to people around you. So it turns out that since 1950, even though real incomes in America have doubled, the level of happiness people report has remained pretty much exactly the same. And one of the main theories for this is that people's happiness in relation to their income is dependent more on how much other people have rather than how much they have themselves. So it turns out what makes really, people really happy is if they have more money than their neighbor, not if they have more money objectively overall. Also the fact that most things in our lives that make us happy, things like our education, uh, our family, our personal relationships, uh, stay the same regardless of whether or not how much money we have objectively goes up or down. Uh, and so since the amount of happiness we have is kind of directed towards our, the relation of money to other people, I found in my own life my happiness didn't really go down from uh, giving up a little bit of extra money because I still had all the things in my life that made me happy before, my friends and my family uh, and my education and all these other great things in my life and all the great advantages you get from living in a first world nation. Reason number three, giving makes you happy. This is really the most important reason. It turns out that a lot of psychology shows that giving makes us really, really happy. One particular study shows that in over 100 countries, 90% uh, of recipients said that giving a significant amount to charity had the same impact on overall happiness as a doubling of household income. So this has a really incredible impact on our happiness. Now, this is, I think, a really important and uh, kind of pleasant fact that psychology has shown us, is that most of us really do care a lot about helping other people. And when we believe that we can give a little bit of money away in order to have a huge amount of impact on the world, uh, that makes us really happy. One thing that often stops people from feeling good about giving money to charity is worries that the money's not really doing any real good. I think there's a general skepticism that, say, aid doesn't work, or that different interventions aren't going to have any impact. But for my part, I know that the research done by Giving What We Can and other organizations show that the organizations I'm giving my 10% to are having an absolutely massive impact. So I, for one, have, have had my happiness increase massively from giving more, and I hope you do the same. Thanks.